Greetings, everybody. Uh, today is Friday, and we head into the weekend with uh, an extremely powerful uh, psalm. It is a, a penitential psalm, is what they call it, uh, from David. Uh, it's uh, Psalm 38. So get your Bibles out, and uh, let's look at this, but uh, consider deeply what he is saying here, because this is this is, uh, this is pretty powerful. So, here we go. Psalm 38. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. For your arrows have sunk into me, and your hand has come down on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head like a heavy burden. They are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. On all the, all the day I go about mourning. For my sides are filled with burning and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and crushed. I groan because of the tumult of my heart. O oh Lord, all day, all my longing is before you. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart throbs, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, it, has also, it, it also has gone from me. My friends and companions stand aloof from my plague, and my nearest kin stand far off. Those who seek my life lay their snares. Those who seek my hurt speak of ruin and meditate, tre and meditate treachery all day long. But I am like a deaf man I do not hear, like a mute man who does not open his mouth. I have become like a man who does not hear and who, in whose mouth are no rebukes. But for you, O Lord, do I wait. It is you, O Lord, my God, who will answer. For I said, only let, let them not rejoice over me who boasts against me when my foot slips. For I am ready to fall, and my pain is ever before me. I confess my iniquity. I am sorry for my sin. But my foes are vigorous, they are mighty, and many are those who hate me wrong, wrongfully. Those who render me evil for good accuse me because I follow after good. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Wow. So David, uh, certainly lamenting, certainly uh, uh, recognizing the sin of his heart uh, and confessing that iniquity. Uh, the deepness of this is incredible. Uh, I mean, all of it, uh, just, just the, the entirety of, of what he, what he uh, recognizes and realizes in his heart. And sometimes it's, it's good for us to be in a place like that, um, to, to, to recognize where we are and, and just lay it before him. Uh, we have talked about this before, but, you know, this, this confession that David is giving, he says, I, I confess my iniquity, I am sorry for my sin. And then at the very end, he says, do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. And you know what? He does. He does not forsake us. He does stay near to us. He does hastily help us when we cry to him and put our sins in front of him. And he is our salvation. Jesus made sure of that on the cross. But the thing that just strikes me is the fact that his confession was from the heart. He, he you, you can just feel his sorrow and how deep it is 
uh, with all of this that's going on around him and in him. But he comes to the conclusion, as we must when we are sorrowful, when our hearts are downtrodden, when, when there's a heartache of our soul, uh, when we know we have sinned. We just, we confess that sin, we are sorry for that sin, and then we receive what it is that God has to give us, and that is his presence, his, his unfailing love and forgiveness for each and every one of us. That's what the Lord gives us. And in a time in our culture and in our, and in our land where uh, there is such unrest and, and such, and such uh, uh, just chaos, uh, now more than ever we need to repent of the things that we have done and receive this forgiveness Receive this presence, receive this salvation that we have in him. Um, the good news is that he gives it. The good news is that he doesn't forsake us or leave us. The good news is that he does haste to help us and he is not far from us, but he is there uh, for us. And so, you know, the, this lament ends with a recognition that this God is, is a part of his life. And David constantly is saying that throughout the Psalms. And I hope it's true for you that you recognize that this God is there for you. Uh, and if there's something on your heart that you need to get out, then get it out repent and confess and let his love guide you to the knowledge of his presence and his forgiveness. May God's blessings be upon you this weekend and uh, find a place to worship, find a place to, uh, uh, to, to thank him for all that he has done for you. And wherever and whenever you can, be a blessing to those around you. So until the next time, 